Oh, well, yeah, you heard that right. Today is a pretty different day. It's Monday. Welcome back to the vlog. Today, I'll go the whole day without using social media. When I woke up early as well. Gonna be a tough one. But let's be honest here, right? Social media runs the world. It does. Social media runs the world. It decides how we feel. It uh, influences us in pretty much every way possible. It gets political. It doesn't get political. Experimental. It exposes us to loads of different things. There's always a positive and negative to that. The positive is being that we can see other cultures from the way around the world. We can interact with people we we'll probably never ever speak to in our lifetimes. And we'll be able to communicate with people. You can set up your whole job. You can speak to an audience, you can influence people, you can recommend stuff to people, you can help people out. And that's the side of the internet I like. Being able to contact loved ones and family from different places. Join movements in order to help others. It, it, the internet can be used for magical things, but also it can be a curse. Because when there's good, there's usually bad. They kind of go hand in hand. And the internet can be a dark place. It can be a very, very dark place. There's horrible people. Because as well as being wonderful people on the internet doing brilliant and amazing things, there's also people who are doing horrible things and the complete opposite. That, at the end of the day, that is the internet. Now, I've seen people like Casey Neistat, a lot of other creators do videos like this, and I thought I'd give it a go. See, I wanted to try a day without using social media to see how it affects me and my take on it and how I react to it. Like other people my age, I'm on social media for most time of the day. There's not really a time where I'm not on it a lot. Even when I'm on holiday, I find myself I'll go on social media quite a bit. And when I talk about social media, at the moment I'm talking about Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. I, I, I mainly use those those three, as well as Facebook is involved in this experiment. For a day of my life, I'm going to not be using uh, the, the main four. I'm allowing myself to use, to use platforms that I create on, such as uh, TikTok, as well as YouTube. And then I'm also allowing myself to use places like Discord, where people need to talk to me about stuff that relates to other people's content. So if I need to help other people out, or I need to give feedback to someone else, they need a way to contact me. And also WhatsApp in case of emergencies and emergencies only. I just wanted to see how I'll react to it. Will I find it hard? Will I find it easy? Or will I just feel lonely? Today I'm going to be documenting that experience, taking you along with the journey to see how I feel about it. I could probably do this for a week. I could do this for a month, but I wanted to see what one day will do. See if it's positive or negative. Going around on the internet every day, and especially during lockdown, everyone's on it a bit more. But not avoid it. You have to see this stuff in front of your face. It's showing you all this stuff. It's maybe stuff that you want or stuff you can't have. A lifestyle. It exposes you to that, and it can be very damaging to people. I mean, you've probably heard Casey Neistat talk about FOMO, and FOMO is a type of anxiety, and it stands for fear of missing out. FOMO is, is not great, and it's only it's gotten worse with time. Going out and not involving other people with them, it, it's completely be really damaging to people for which everyone has suffered at one point from FOMO if it's your favorite influencer going to this dream place you want to go to or this live event that's happening for your favorite artist and your friends are there but you're not it's bad <laughs> but there's nothing you can do about it it's an endless battle with FOMO. There's also the stress of how you look on online. The stresses that come with it, people's perception of you and how they perceive you from your online attributes of they're trying to hire you for a business or so maybe someone's looking for a partner. They look at online and they see and they make assumptions. So I think this experiment's gonna be good. It's gonna show me that do I really need it in my life? Do I really need the stress of it? Is it worth it? And do I get anything out of it? So it's currently 11 o'clock. And I must admit, I have been tempted. It's uh, I usually say good morning to people. Yeah, I'm not I'm not feeling it too bad at the moment. My God, it's really actually it. it's a very miserable day. The weather is so bad. <laughs> Today's a pretty weird week. It is a Monday, meaning it's start of the week. Go, stop texting me, please. <laughs> Get a new floor put in this week. It's finally being done. I don't know what to do. But when I hit big one oh oh one hundred. I have no idea what to do When I hit When I hit number 100 Commiserate an ending Or do I just continue on It's never ending What do I do? Go to the zoo again, but no because I know for a fact I want to vlog other parts of summer. But do I do them as a daily vlog or do I just focus on the big game? Take off, I thought these would be like the making of me. And then um, these vlogs have broken me down in loads of different ways. I can't even imagine. Yeah, I start to feel it now. It's kind of relaxing, kind of kind of relaxing without knowing the stress. Because what I like to do is that when I'm working, I just throw my phone behind me. I yeet it like over. I, I don't get distracted. It feels good that I'm not like, it, I, don't, I don't feel rude for not opening messages because I'm, I'm not on it. I haven't got it. It is now the evening. It's been a whole day of fun. I've done a lot of writing. Got a lot of stuff done. I'm very happy with myself. And that just proves 
I felt like, you know, after one day of not going on social media at all. Now, what I've discovered about myself is that I've had more time to do stuff. I've gotten a lot more done today. I feel a lot happier. I'm a lot happier. Obviously, this only counts for one day. But I'm thinking about doing this for a bit longer. I think I'm going to, I'm going to definitely turn notifications off for Snapchat and Instagram. That's definitely a good thing. Like, I went on my phone a lot less, like in general. You know, when it's constantly beeping at you, it's very hard to ignore it. So, I feel like just keeping notifications off is, is, is a good thing. It gives me a bit more alone time. You know, it's a crazy world. It's a crazy world. So, um, taking a break from it for a bit is always fun. I'm willing to do this again. Um, you know, I'm willing to delete it, maybe, for a couple, for a week. Maybe not in this current climate, because it's kind of important to have a phone. So, I can talk to people, make sure, you know, they know I'm alright, and I make sure that I know that friends are alright. But maybe in the future, maybe something I look into, because, yeah, I mean, I was a lot more productive. I feel a lot better about myself. Obviously, it's a lot different video today. It's a lot different. If this is your first one, not all of them are me, just not me not being existential, or me being, like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not usually like this. But yeah, if you did enjoy, make sure you stick around for a bit. Maybe check out my other videos. Some of them are good, some of them are bad, I must admit. Make sure you like the video. Comment what you want to see next. And I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye.